Hey guys, welcome Ooh. back to another episode of the Talks Podcast. I'm your boy Daka, and then I've got my co-hosts. Hey guys, what it hello? Do? And I am not the Beyonce of this group. <laughs> it's are me. All e- wow. Oh, <laughs> we're all equal. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she got fired two weeks ago. She's back now, though. Yeah, I got fired because people was tired of the fact that I told them Temporary. that it's better to make it to your destination. Just be stuck here with your bags, okay? <laughs> I mean, they can always take no your luggage. <laughs> they can no always take your luggage. I mean, would you rather go home? Or just... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and that she's the one that gets no respect, okay? <laughs> Fuck you, Farrah Franklin. No one cares about you. And you still trying to cry this sad sob story like, I'll be outside. Da, da, da. Girl, don't nobody even know your name. Oh. Moving on. All right, guys. So he said your first and last name, no boo, but nobody know your name. It's okay. because you're a non-factor. But I just had to let the people know how much of a non-factor you were. We love Latoya Luckett and Latavia Robertson, though, because they're great. I love me some Latoya Luckett. Yes, Latoya. Yes. This is not a music episode today, but it is. But it's not. Anyway, how are y'all? This feeling? is an ASNR episode. I'm about to eat chips on the mic. That's not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she I'm was ready to too. The fact that she got stuck in the middle it. of that. I was about to get. She into was it. ready, y'all. She was. Ready. I mean, bite was big and all. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to she was reach for that bag. Just know, just write in the comments below. Are there comments below? I don't know, but there write in the be. comments below that you wanted to hear me eat my motherfucking chip. It was going it was going to turn you on. It was going it was the it was going to make your ears feel like mm-hmm. they were just laying on pillows. Crunch so, louder. Yeah, all that. You oh, wanted that. Crunch you louder. wanted you wanted the noise, louder. literally. You oh, wanted the noise. I love that big chip in your mouth. All mm-hmm. right. <laughs> yeah, just fall apart in my mouth. Mm. Okay. Yeah, then my saliva just run all over. Me. Okay. And now that's where it got creepy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're back, guys. Um, what a week. How are y'all feeling? Uh I'm good. I I'm 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 better because I've been running around. Uh-uh. So See, look, we're not doing pull that. Pull out the saw. No. <laughs> we, we, I mean, we probably should because I did cough all over this. Like, oh I'm not gosh. sick, but like it's rude for the next person. That's disgusting. But that leads us to why we're here today. Yeah. Um, so as you all, I don't know how you wouldn't know, but as we all know, we are in the midst of, now we're calling a national crisis. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Um, pandemic. Oh, my gosh. You really sprayed this shit with I just, like, inhaled <laughs> straight like <laughs> so. <laughs> Pushed it straight back. Like, I tasted all of yeah, my mouth. that's why I'm, like, back here. <laughs> just, like, clean. But <laughs> the thing is, you throat. it was just, like... Tsh- it was, a, it was a quick spritz. Well, I, I guess it's the material. I don't <laughs> it's know. Holding. But that it's, joint is just Which is why off. you should spritz, because if they hold the Lysol, what else is it holding? Exactly. This is true. This is true. Mm. But uh, yeah, guys, we're in the middle of um, <laughs> some uh, interesting times here. Uh, Miss Rona, also known as the coronavirus. Why is, is it a woman? Here. I don't know. Why do we always resort to that? Why can't it be Mr. Rona? Or just You're Rona. the one who applied Miss. I didn't because even that's hear, all, all I'm saying. That's just I what I've been seeing. I didn't hear any binary nothing. All I, was I saw say, was that's Rona. All, that's, all, that's, that's all I've been seeing. seeing. I just Trending. seen Rona. Miss or, Rona. I never saw Miss. I've I only seen, seen Rona. Yeah, I've been seeing Miss. Well, we can just call him or call, call, him, her call him Rona. I don't want women and black people to be um, correlated with negative times. Black market. <laughs> okay, who thought of that? You know. Black Friday. Black Friday. Well, Black Friday. Well, you know, <laughs> it, it's a day of death and despair, low key. Because, you know, motherfuckers be getting trampled. Yeah, yeah. So. This is true. Your favorite day just passed off. It did! Friday the 13th! Friday the 13th is my favorite yesterday. day. Yeah, Friday no. the 13th. I thought about her all day. I, thought I think we got yesterday. another one coming up in October. We do. I think we got like two of them coming yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Halloween's on a Friday this year. I have no, to. Um, mm hmm. My marriage date, they have wished to get married, is October, Friday the 13th, 2023. So anybody who's looking to be my husband by that date, let me know, okay? Because I'm getting married on that day, whether it's to my motherfucking self y'all or got, you. Y'all got three years and a couple of months. Okay? That's time. <laughs> Act accordingly. Listen to all my podcasts. You get to know me a little bit. 
And then pretend like you, all this shit is like, oh, yeah, I love Friday the 13th, too. Not pretend <laughs> like. <laughs> you have a daughter, right? Uh, 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 oh, um, Mara? I want to say Catherine. <laughs> oh. No, you better know my baby's name. At least say Amanda. Amanda. You better not give my baby no white name. Avery? I'll take Avery. I like that. Name. <laughs> Avery's a nice name. Oh, my gosh. But... But we're here, guys. So uh, we hope number one, first and foremost, because this we, we this is we're lighthearted here, y'all. We have to be lighthearted in time like this, um, just because there's so much bullshit for all like for lack of a better term going around. But before we even say that, just just PSA, you know, make sure y'all are safe out here. Please, mm-hmm. please, 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 wash your hands. Wash your hands. Don't over sanitize your hands. Wash your hands. Wash but then again, I wash my hands and sanitize my hands. Mm-hmm. And that's I'll okay. wash them and I'll come out the bathroom. I do too, but I was doing that beforehand. Yes. That's just how I People am. at my job, <laughs> yes. yeah, same. People, um, the clients at my job have been coming in and asking to buy our hand sanitizer from us. And see, that is crazy because the yeah. fact that you can't even, like on Amazon Prime, you can't even find Clorox wipes. They're out of nope. stock. It's crazy. It's really crazy. This was just like for the cleaning companies. They was watching Twitter and they saw all these white people not washing their legs and Ooh. only 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 <laughs> washing their kids during winter months. And yeah, they was like That's a thing. Pool time equals bath time. Oh yeah, I remember Sprinkling that. Sprinkling time oh, equals bath time. If you take if you get yeah, in a pool, lake like, time you take a shower equals afterward. bath time. Like, no, all all of that is filth. <laughs> Put your baby in the shower. What? So Anyway, I feel like the company seen this and mm-hmm. was like, yo, that explains why we think we're going to make this amount of money, but Billy and Susie Ann have been keeping the same bar of soap for the past three years because they barely use it. So <laughs> well, how are we going to get wash. people to buy more? And that's what they did. They created the coronavirus <laughs> so that more people can start washing their ass. Well. You know what was interesting uh, today? <laughs> I was in Walmart. Um, I went to the one in the little market. Oh, the little marketplace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was gonna go to the one by my house and I was like, you know what? Let me go a little bit. I was further. saying that you already knew. So you I went to the one by there. in Concord past the speedway. Mm-hmm. Um, and everything else is good, right? Of course water is gone, but everything else is stock, juice, orange juice, all bacon was gone, except for turkey bacon. Damn the bacon. And I was like, okay, good, I can get my bacon. And then, you know, snacks are good, chips are good, bread was still there, eggs still good, milk. I'm like, okay, well, don't look like nobody came through here. And I look down the way, and there is literally like a mob of people, like maybe 25 people standing there. I don't know if they had toilet paper in the back, but they were literally standing where the toilet paper is at. And it's completely empty. And I'm like, even the wipes just gone and i'm like this is ridiculous i, I just want to know the correlation between buying the toilet paper up well the way i see it is if you want it's, it's a couple of things one of the things is okay if i do get sick mm-hmm. i need toilet paper i'm running through toilet paper mm-hmm. i don't know how about y'all but when i'm sick i'm run through toilet paper mm-hmm. i go through like a whole roll in like two days and then um so you're Already using toilet paper that way. Mm-hmm. Then if you're stuck in the house, you don't know how long we're going to be stuck in the house. Mm-hmm. You know, you watch the shows. They do the stuff. They send the National Guard in as a, we're protecting you. And then protecting you turns into, well, now there's a random fence around my neighborhood. Now I get shot if I'm not in the house at 3 p.m. or if I'm asking too many questions. Mm-hmm. and Or I sneeze and now you taking me and quarantine me and mm-hmm. nobody ever sees or hears from me again. But everybody else stuck in the house for the next three months. They need tissue so like i get it in a sense of and you also gotta remember there's a lot of people like world war ii like doomsday um what's that shit that happened in 2000 um uh, one of new year's uh what oh, y2k y2k oh. um all this shit like you know there's a lot of people who have these bunkers already like they mm-hmm. already like now they're like oh i can put my kit together like i, I can mm-hmm. finally use make use of all this shit because we're about to be like stuck in the house and all that so that's what a lot of people are doing but obviously there's more than you need to buy than just five large packs of toilet paper and a bunch of water you do need cleaning products you do need food mm-hmm. and um like this one guy at my job he said that his doctor recommended that he gets um hearty soups mm-hmm. and that way he can just always be able to heat up hearty soups i don't know i feel like we're leading towards a zombie apocalypse and then i'm like damn you're I'm not, not prepared. I'm not prepared for a zombie. I don't have the right <laughs> shoes. I don't got 
I don't got the you right ain't got weapons. The weapons. <laughs> I don't got the right weapons. I don't even like to kill bugs. Like I keep telling, I told myself once I had a daughter, I don't like kill bugs for her, like in mm-hmm. honor of her. <laughs> And like, no, I still don't do it. Like, I just be like, we just not gonna sit in this room today, baby. Oh. And we go, oh <laughs> the spider's room. probably still there. I don't know. <laughs> like he disappear. He's gone. He he'd leave. He's, He's find his way out. But you know what though? Seriously, to that point, me, I was with Johnny earlier. I guess from last week. Hey, Johnny. Uh, and we were went to the store to mm-hmm. go. Just we both need to go to the store. We got our things and everything. So we were driving around. And we were just looking like. Okay, that's an abandoned house right there. We can go to that house. Right oh there. yeah. Oh no, I do have a zombie <laughs> protocol. Like, where am I going to go? Where is like, yeah, yeah, I already have that. I definitely have that. Yeah, I, I mean, and it's like I said, there's. I know. I don't know about y'all, but me personally, I'm still in this space of like, okay, this is a thing, but. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, like, I know it's I important. Am. I'm very. Mm-hmm. I'm keeping aware of what's going guess, on, but it's like, did y'all care about Ebola? No. I'm not gonna say I didn't but care, you know, but I, I, didn't, didn't, I didn't. I didn't, didn't really care me. about Ebola much because it didn't. It never hit the mainland. It never hit inside of America. America doesn't get it, so, so we're good. Well, I mean, seriously, it, it was. It was never here for us to really worry about for <laughs> well, us to catch a, it. So look, it's people in Africa. Ooh, I can spit like ooh, ooh, oh, wet well, mouth. She didn't cough. And I got. Spit. I got. <laughs> I got a wet mouth for you. Um, is this hand it is hand sanitizer. Would you like to use some? I'm using his hand sanitizer so you know that I'm a clean bitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> but no, like, Ebola was mainly in Africa, and now they're saying Africa barely, rarely, or does not even have any cases yeah. of the corona. And it's yeah, like, it's like oh, yeah. look at the world now. What if Ebola was the, like, the anti to corona? I don't know. It's... I think because of that, like, I think kind of what you said, like, mm-hmm. I mean, now, mind you, it is here because we looked it up early. Like, all 50 states have confirmed cases. Do um, they? They do, do according they? to the CDC. According to? <laughs> Allegedly. I was going to say, now you're about to be that person. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> no, because my mom, like, she said something about, um... I'm like, I don't know. She sent me, oh, drinking water. She was like, you know, you're supposed to drink a sip of water every 15 minutes because it'll wash the germs down your throat and then it'll go to your stomach and then the acid in your stomach kills the germs. And I'm like, bitch, where did you read that? Because (laughs) we would all never be sick unless you just don't drink anything because everybody drinks. So everybody has the opportunity. And you spit. So everybody has the opportunity to wash germs down to their stomach on a daily basis. So it's just already just with that mm-hmm. right there. Yeah. Everything you said just doesn't fucking make sense. Well, so she goes, she goes, um, I think it was the CDC. Like I think, so then she pulls it up. So she pulls up this third party written thing that is about Stanford hospitals research. And then it's from my fucking aunt Angie. So I was like, first of all, this is a third party thing from Stanford university. It did our back out. And I was like, from Angela Bigelow, like <laughs> it, it just, it just keeps getting worse. Like there's no direct source here like at yeah. all whatsoever. Like she, she already doesn't even know where she got the information from. Yeah. And you telling me you want to round sip of water every 15 goddamn minutes. Cause you think you, Trailing the goddamn germs to your stomach acid. Well, the, just stay hydrated is the thing. Yeah, like, make sure like, you drink, drink water. water. It does help you drink you know, water, get sickness, but yeah. don't drink but the it, water for the hope like, that yeah. you never get sick because <laughs> now the germs are in your stomach acid. Right. <laughs> Doesn't work that yeah. way. But see, that just goes to show again all the inaccurate information that is going around. Mm-hmm. Up at this point. The most trusted source for accurate information about this is the CDC. Mm-hmm. And if you okay. live here, if you I live mean, here in Mecklenburg County, <laughs> if you live here in Charlotte, like the Mecklenburg County, like health, like yeah, the county health, health, like they're getting mm-hmm. all their shit straight from the CDC as yep. well. So still look at your local health mm-hmm. authorities. They have the most accurate information. Like, and there's just, and that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of inaccurate things going around mm-hmm. that, is leading to a lot of this pandemonium and like, you know, uh, doomsday prepping and whatever yeah. else. Not that you shouldn't be prepared for just things but that you feel like you need to be prepared There's for, no reason to be over 
doing it right now. At this point, and I don't know. I mean, not saying you should wait until like they say, okay, like fifty yeah, people yeah. a day are going to the hospital <laughs> in your area. Like, no, right, right. I just, I really don't know what to do. If something bad was like, if this turned into like some end of the world shit, I really, honestly, and truly don't know what to do. Like, I have my daughter. Like. Where am I supposed to go? Which direction? Am I supposed to start walking north towards Maryland and try to meet up with my pops? Do I just stay in place? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, who goes and gets the food? Because she ain't shit around Sugar Creek. So it's just <laughs> like, and already Sugar Creek, day one, everything's getting ran mm -hmm. the fuck through. All that shit's probably not even going to be like, it's everything going to be gone. Yeah. So it's just like, there's nowhere for me to really go. My mom's old. My mom never answers the phone. Like, if that shit broke down right now, I feel a little comfortable because I'm with y'all, but I want to get to my baby. And yeah, you yeah. probably want to get to your family, and you want to get to your family, but you know I'm going to prioritize my motherfucking baby. I just, I really wouldn't know what to do. It would be a very scary thing, and I think that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to, like, make it so lighthearted, like, ha-ha, whatever, the yeah. Rona. Yeah. And it's like Ebola, and it'll go away on the past because... The only difference that I'm really seeing right now, and I guess like you said, because it wasn't here, is the amount of stuff that's getting shut down, the mm -hmm. amount of action that's being taken. Mm -hmm. And I just really don't have time um, because are the bill companies going to stop expecting their money if I can't go to work for two weeks? Actually, yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. In Charlotte, yes. So the city of Charlotte officially and the mayor have confirmed that Duke Energy mm -hmm. is not going to suspend service. As well as Charlotte Water. As well as Charlotte Water. If you have not paid your bill, if you have a back due balance, and if your shit is cut off, they will turn it back on. Yeah, within a, for the next 60 days. For and if 60 they days. need to expand it at that time, they will. Yeah, so and certain visit. Uh, companies are and doing that. And then also um, Comcast, T-Mobile, AT&T, and Sprint. Are doing the same things. So okay. if oh wait a minute, hold on. If AT and T didn't do that, I just paid half my bill today. Well, if you are out of work with oh. no pay, or you well, have, that's good for for those people. You know, have the that. virus. Okay, I get that. Uh, yeah. I'm, and I'm glad and then I wanted doing to that. know like about traveling because like one of my friends, <laughs> who, she wants to um, <laughs> she wants to go on a trip in August, and like in her, she's like, oh August, it should you know we should figure it out. But shit, there it's like half and half. Either by August. The shit's cleared up. We figured out there's no panic. Or by August, shit then hit the fucking fan. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm just like, well, do I, do I get a refund? Should I care if I get a refund? Because it's just like, I don't. Because when I see the stuff about like South by Southwest, Coachella canceling, yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. fuck you. We got your money. Ha, 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 ha. And it's like, well, y'all really took this corona thing and ran with it. And y'all yeah. got a lot of folk mm -hmm. for their coin. And then like with the whole thing with Harvard. And I think it's Harvard um, shutting down their university. It's a lot of universities and schools yeah, going online. but yeah, they're going online, and it's just like okay, the conversation about well, what are we supposed to do for the international students, the people who right, rely right, on right. living here? Mm -hmm. Same thing with um, public schools. What are we supposed to do with our children? Because like one of my friends, she said her um, her children might not have to go to school Monday, mm -hmm. and but she still has to go to work. Right. And so she was, just, and I was just like, well, you know, your kids can come hang out with me and whatnot. But it's just, what if she didn't have that option? Yeah, and yeah. and it's just ridiculous because there's never any backup plans for this. Yeah. It's just like, oh, y'all figure it out. And those are the things I think for states that start to do it starting Monday need to look at, um, who is it right now? I know Ohio, Maryland, and there's two other states. I can't, Kentucky, and I can't remember the other one, um, Pennsylvania. I know if Ohio and Maryland when watching CNN yesterday and they spoke with the governors, what they're doing with those kids that have to stay home, the bus drivers are still, not all bus drivers, but bus drivers are still going to deliver meals to the house. And it's not so much as just for that student or whatever, it's going to be for the house, for those low income families so that they are still able to, you know, get their nourishment that they would get yeah. at the, at the school. So I think any state that's shut down public schools moving forward, that needs to be the that that needs to be the protocol. It's a I just feel like this shit is soft. Yeah. All y'all soft. I need to learn how to say it in Kobe voice. You soft. <laughs> Guys, I've seen all y'all DC Maryland people talk. So we still yes! the sniper. My, I'm just <laughs> saying, like D, that's exactly what I'm gonna say. Motherfucking DC sniper niggas had to walk single file line zigzag into the bus, <laughs> and nigga cough and it's oh we're shutting the whole school down. I could have got killed. Well, I guess you can still die, but like I could have got shot. 
<laughs> I still had to go to school every goddamn day. Well, y'all know y'all say y'all built so tough up there. Anyway, I still had to so. go to school after nine <laughs> eleven. Fuck, well, come on. We did too. Yeah, we did too. And we, we went were to on, school. I was school the next day. I was about to say we <laughs> were on the hit That's what I'm saying. List. We still had to go to school. <laughs> yeah, but I was. But my point about that is more like, like my mom worked in the Pentagon. Mm-hmm. Like it should be like, oh Nia, you don't have to come. Go spend time with your mom. You could have lost her yesterday. <laughs> True. Shit like that. True. Well, I mean, just I guess just to put things into perspective about where we are with this pandemic at this point. So here's some hard facts from the CDC, okay? Allegedly. She's going to do this the whole episode. <laughs> These are hard facts from the CDC. So hard facts from the CDC include the majority of infections are mild. 80.9% of people who become infected will just get mild flu-like symptoms and are advised to stay at home. Only 4% of those that are infected end up in intensive care, um, like critical condition. Of that, the the people that have been confirmed infected, only 3.5% have succumbed from the disease. Um, 40% are still currently ill, but 56.6% have fully recovered up until this point. Um, also, the age range of people that are most affected is kind of like what we thought with other um, ailments and other viruses and diseases is those that are in the 60 plus bracket, um, especially those, you know, 70 plus and 80 plus, Mm -hmm. of course. And those are people who also have pre-existing conditions. Now, a lot of people in the nation have pre-existing conditions, Mm -hmm. whether that be heart disease or high blood pressure or, you know, HIV AIDS, whatever have you. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that, that still will affect that this population of people, but it's you have a higher chance of just recovering, mm-hmm. according to the CDC at this point in time, mm-hmm. if you're below the age of like 65, 70. Yeah. Um, I mean, so that's just some hard facts at this point. Um, they are saying that most, like a lot of people are just, just having the flu-like symptoms and they stay home, quarantine, they make the full recovery. Mm-hmm. Um, that's not to say that that's true for everybody as we've seen, but the, from what from my understanding, the death count is much lower than the survival rate at this point. Yeah. So that for me gives me like a little more solace, being like, okay, even if it's a possibility that someone could get it, like if you do you have a higher chance of surviving. Yeah. Um, and I think also moving forward, I think we also need to just remember not like a fear factor type thing, but just be cognizant that it hasn't peaked yet here in the U.S. Yeah. So what's happening right now in Italy is at its peak. Mm -hmm. And we're, I mean, we're not even testing. (laughs) We're not testing. So the cases will go up. Not saying deaths will go up, but the cases will go up. But that's not a thing to be, I don't feel like to be like alarmed of. It's, you know, about to be deadly. Mm -hmm. But just know that, if the cases go up, don't be alarmed because it should be expected. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's just like with any other um, contagious infection or disease virus, you know, you're going to have a lot of people that get it, mm-hmm. um, unfortunately, but a lot of people are also going to survive. Right. Um, right. Just like they would in the normal And then also, um, one of the nice things, too, is yesterday they passed the, the bill. Um, oh, they finally passed it? They, Nancy Pelosi was able to get okay. them to pass Shout it. Shout out to you, Nancy. <laughs> um, they, it did cut down some things, but the three major things is that it's going to give money to every state and to the state's Medicaid and Medicare. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, of course, that's taking care of people that are on you know, government assistance programs and mm-hmm. older people. But then also um, it's going to make sure and ensure, again, for those students that are out of school, that they are being properly you know, fed <laughs> and things of that nature, too. Um, and... Then there's one other thing where it's making sure that every test is now free. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be free testing. Um, I did see a lot of people, you know, Instagram this morning talking about like, oh, well, we got free testing, but we don't have free treatment. And I'm like, well, you have to remember, we don't even have treatment there's or not even any treatment at right, this point. or vaccine. So how can it be free? Yeah. So, yeah. So, just, you know, I just feel like people should just be cognizant because they're they're. What I've seen that was more of a political ploy between Bernie and Biden, 
And I was like, right now, with this, this isn't political. This is everybody. This is not bipartisan. So it's like human. Yeah. I don't like, know. Somebody did bring up that, it. like, almost every election time, there's some form of a disease that always. comes out. And mm-hmm. like, I have the plan to fix it. And yeah. But I think that's just, I mean, that while that is true, I think also, like, a disease is going to happen regardless. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Pol- pol- politicians pick up on that and run with it. Like, this is what I would right, do in right. this situation. When the next one hits, this right. is, I will handle it. Um, cause my, my coworker made a good point the other day when swine flu was a mm-hmm, thing. Mm-hmm. And so she was saying, she's like, I mean, that was in high school. It was high school. I remember that H1N1. I don't even know what we called it. Then we just called it that swine. That's what we called it. You got that swine. Mm-hmm. That was the thing. I um, it. you had the swine flu. I did. Oh my goodness. Well, see, I mean, this just goes back to her point. She was saying, she's like, I knew people who like family members who had, she's like, my cousin mm-hmm. was like three months pregnant when she had the swine flu. Mm-hmm. She got through it. She, you know, recovered. Her baby is 13 years old now and mm-hmm. fine. Like, and they were making such a big, you know, thing about yeah, yeah, that yeah. as well. Yeah. So it was terrible, but I mean, I mean, I heard it, I heard yeah. it sucked. So well, it's what I'm, it was, but the crazy thing about it was our, you know, health center, would not because of how small the city was that mm-hmm. our school is in, they would not diagnose you with telling you like, oh yeah, you got H one N one swine flu. You they instead wanted you to go to the neighboring county where Toledo is, a bigger city, mm-hmm. to get it to get confirmed so that it you know because if it was there they would have to shut down the university. They didn't want to shut down the university. We had a Republican oh. mayor that didn't want to shut down the city because the school was the city. Right. And, you know, me being my, you know, fist raised black ass. You told everybody. I was on. <laughs> I got the <laughs> I got the swine. And, and and it was that what it was. But I, you know, I had a great RA too. Yeah. You know, yeah. she checked on me, made sure I kept my door unlocked. So were you just quarantined in your room? I mean, I couldn't leave. Like I mean even if I wanted to. Oh, so you, they it didn't was like just, send you home. They're like, nah, you got No, they didn't here. send me home. Um, but I did have to stay in my room unless it was like me going to the restroom. But the funny thing is the whole time I had it, there was no urge or no. I never had to pee and I never had to shit, like wow. literally. How long were you? Did you have it? How long were you under? Uh, for seven days exactly. Oh boy! Like, so it was a week long situation. It was a week long situation. Came in out of no. Came in out of nowhere. Yeah, I had a friend who got swine flu. Now that I remember, and they said the same thing actually. And I was, was like, "This like, is so a weird." Friend, okay. <laughs> Very convenient. Did you do something to her before we got here? I've done a lot of things to her. Apparently, this is just building up. <laughs> Cause she let loose on you today. It's okay. I'm here for. I I'm moved away from you, Mister. I get diseases. Oh uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I had it. And We're recovered. being attacked today. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not the one that's coughed. So I fake it's... coughed. I did sneeze though. You sneezed twice. But I yeah. sneezed because um. You're touching oh, my okay. sanitizer. I, no, I was She's touching my sanitizer. To you. <laughs> Take your weed tizer. <laughs> oh my god! But no, um, but that's that's interesting. You say so. It's interesting to see that that was the plan of action when you had that. And that was a, yeah. such a big thing. It's just like, and that's kind of what we're what they're saying. And I now, think what's like, different back then, like me thinking about it in, in the, between the two times, right? Back then, you had a treatment and you had a vaccine. They knew how to, you know, quarantine people away in the hospital, whatever, whatever. And they had, what was it, Tamiflu that they were able to actually give people. And now there's nothing here to even do anything. Although there are trials, which I find interesting, that they are doing trials in China and I think the UK. Yeah. And in the UK with, um, it's a HIV medication. Mm-hmm. That they're testing, and so far, it is working against the coronavirus mm-hmm. to be possible treatment. So I was like, that that has interested me because I'm like, interesting that y'all would use I HIV think medication everything is to manufactured. Help like I feel like the government just always be like trying different stuff, trying to do different mm-hmm. stuff, and then like it slips out accidentally or maybe purposefully, and then it's like, oh, this epidemic, let's figure out how to rein it back in. But it's We're like, no. Well, like, y'all, like, you play with science. You try mm-hmm. to figure stuff out, and you don't know what shit's going to do. And now here we are with these diseases or, like, these anomalies in the world. And then it just gets written off as an accident or just some 
hoax or mm-hmm. something like that. And it's like, no, I know y'all in there tinkering with shit. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, I don't care how conspiracy theorists I sound like. No, it's a fact. I know y'all yeah. definitely in there I was tinkering say, with you some know, fucking conspir- shit. My, the conspiracy part of me has always been like, hmm, the scientists that tried to say something about it in China before it blew up right. died. And then the the um, director of the hospital that that scientist mm-hmm. was at that was supposedly going to say something too mm-hmm. died. Oh my gosh. Well, now. now, also, sorry, apparently we get random texts that say, Dear Naya, no one is safe from the coronavirus anymore. This is so creepy that I just got this text. Like, literally just got it. This is the only survival guide you will require to overcome this crisis. And then I got sent a link. I'm not clicking the link. I'm going to block and delete that? this number. I don't know. <laughs> I was about to say, and they called you by your first name. Yeah. Right. Like, it's, it's really what are creepy. What you subscribe to? Now? But I'm going to block it. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to delete it. Because what the fuck? Mm, see? And then... Um, North Korea, they had a case, their first confirmed case, and they shot the man dead. <laughs> yeah, you ain't see that. Well, that, I mean, I mean, it's North Korea. I was about to say, I don't want, that's why I stopped myself because I didn't want to go from, <laughs> it's North Korea. But I mean, the man killed his own damn brother I was and saying, people. It's North Korea. But see, but but see, just thinking about that, like the fact that that, that happened. Yeah. That's confirmed. That, that just happened. Mm-hmm. Well, in the event that this does become a whole thing, like it leads to those type of questions. Like, what are people going to start doing? What is it going to make people do? Kill people. That's that's yeah. that's that's, 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 that's what all these shows and movies. And it's not like uh, nothing's made up. Everything's really from like some point of existence right. in some type mm-hmm. of way. You might be exaggerated, but it's not really. And and all these apocalypse movies. End of the day, like that's what it is. People are all about themselves. First, and they're going to try to survive. Like, yeah, Walking Dead could have been done in two seasons because if every person who was alive would be like, oh, shit, great, you're alive too? Wonderful. Let's band together. Let's get these resources. Let's mark out this part of land and then just keep building from there and find other survivors and we just take over this state and now we have Virginia and then we can go from there. No, it's... Oh, no, I want that can of soup. B, come up off it. And then now that person's dead because y'all got in a fucking knife fight over a can of soup. Mm-hmm. When in reality, y'all both could have been eating off that fucking can of fucking soup. Like, it's just nobody nobody wants to share. Everybody wants to be territorial. So if this became a point, that's why everybody, that's why there's nothing left in the fucking stores right. because nobody gives a fuck. They probably already got a Costco card. They probably already got like six pounds of fucking toilet paper at, of at home. But they're like, fuck it. What's funny to me is that they're like, stay away from large crowds, Americans, in yeah, a large crowd. crowds to at, the grocery store. As we get in a three mile long line with this large and not ass crowd. Six feet apart. To fucking to, coop. <laughs> to motherfucking get toilet paper and water. Like mm-hmm. yeah. y'all need to go out back and learn how to resource some fucking water. It just rained. Like but fuck you know, out of here. I, what I did enjoy about um my adventure today to the store. Cause I mentally prepared for, you know, the whole people running crazy, pushing, shoving. Mm, that's why I went and I'm like, yes, I will not. I need to go so I can just get whatever. But I did go last week because I'm like, this shit is gonna lead up to something. Let me go get whatever. Yeah. But I didn't do a lot. So I just really need to tighten up on some stuff. So I went today, and when I went to Food Line, I went to the one in Concord, and I was like, oh my God, they, it's calm in the store, one. Everything is fully stocked. They still have rice and stuff on the, on the shelves. Because nobody's buying food. And I was food. like, great. <laughs> now, they did have paper towels, napkins, some toilet paper, wipes, sanitary stuff. And I was like... Did y'all restock? Like, I just, you know, want to know. But I think because of where it's at and it's a smaller store, mm-hmm. people aren't thinking about it and it's outside of yeah. the metro area. I got water from the gas station yesterday. Mm-hmm. Pallet full, just sitting. I didn't get by a pallet. I'm saying, like, there's a pallet right, right, just right. full of water. Dasani, pure, all the waters yeah. just sitting there. Aquafina. Mm-hmm. The Sonny and, and Aquafina are probably still gonna sit there after the apocalypse. Yeah, I've been seeing. I've been seeing a lot of Sonny. Everyone got the Aquafina. <laughs> I was gonna say I've been seeing the a lot of pictures with the Sonny. But it wasn't in Walmart. The market, the neighborhood oh. market I went to. I was like, see? I was expecting to see the Sonny, right? And I was like, oh, Smart Water was still there, like the six packs. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, and it's just like, like that's the thing. Like in this type of situation, it's like, yeah, look at the places that you wouldn't think everyone else would be looking at. Like mm-hmm. you can definitely yes. get a lot of stuff from the gas station. Yes, you can get a lot of stuff from just like. 
random like the dollar store like mm-hmm. or wherever else mm-hmm. like but or sometimes just going out a little further just out. a little further out like if you live in a densely populated area then yes be prepared that the store down the street that's more convenient to you is mm-hmm. more than likely to be running because they had everything. all meat i mean everything it was it was just yeah. a regular day and then also like when it comes to the food thing i mean this my thing at first i was thinking like this isn't a blizzard y'all why are we like <laughs> Stocking up on canned goods you know, and dry food. I mean, now mind you, <laughs> that does make sense. But it's like at this point, you know, there's no, especially I can only speak for our area where we live at right now in Charlotte. There's no threat to the, you know, power or internet or any of that mm-hmm. being cut mm-hmm. off. Um, you know, we're not in riot crisis mode or anything. We've only had two confirmed positive cases here. One person don't even live here. They just got tested here. Mm-hmm. And the other person... I don't even know. I think they're in self quarantine already, but like there's only been two. Yeah. You know, and that's what I was saying as far as like my thought process of, you know, panic mode or whatever mm-hmm. else. I mean, even then, there's going to be panic. People are going to be scared. People yeah, are going to be whatever. Because you got those people that are just naturally like, yeah, that. it's going to happen. But yeah. it's like, at, like, don't rile yourself up even more as much as possible. Yeah. Especially because at this point, where we are in our area, there's no imminent threat right now. Yeah. Now people are taking precautions already. Like they've canceled every yeah. major thing in the city already. You know, um, and that leads me to another thing. I said they ain't cancel CIAA. That, that was before it got sure. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> so I don't know, but I guess like that that fuels of like why like why I'm still kind of like okay. Mm-hmm. I think the, I think the thing is stay informed, but don't panic. Yeah. Like. It's okay to be informed. It's okay to probably be overly informed. And then you have to watch out where you're getting your information. Facebook Please. ain't going to be it. Please watch If, if you don't want to trust the major news outlets, again, go to CDC, go to NIH, go to, you know, I call it WHO. But the, yeah, World Health Organization. Yeah. But, you know, you can, you can go to those three and get accurate, concrete information that's not going to mislead you. Yeah. Because that's literally where every outlet is getting it from. But literally, now, from if you don't point. trust them reporting it, because you have people out there that just don't trust the reporting, that's true. Go go directly to the source. Exactly, and that's the main thing. Just be conscious of the information you're taking, because there's going to be a lot of information mm-hmm. coming out. There already has been. There's going to be mm-hmm. a lot more crazy shit coming out in the next like hell yeah. two weeks specifically. Because um, the guy over the CDC said, expect April to be at its highest. Yeah, as of right now. Great. And it just great. coincides. Fucking great. I decided to have a child when the world decided it was just going to fucking fall the fuck apart. Fucking amazing. Life. Life. I'm sorry. That's all <laughs> I'm thinking about. It's just like, no, that's I'm real, really, though. am I not going to be able to see my daughter like grow up and make the same dumbass mistakes my dumbass made? Am I not going to be able to see like that shit? Am I really going to be cooped up in the fucking house with her ass? Like, Baby, I remember when we used to go outside and have fun. Like, <laughs> sure. I am not trying to like live that life. Like, no, I don't think it's gonna come. No, I, I did not go through all that fucking stress this past few years for it to end with me having to stay in the fucking house. Like, fuck out of here. Fuck right. out of here. Fuck all that. No, and I think that's the point of like when on a personal level for each individual person, it's like y'all until until. It really gets to that point. Mm-hmm. Stay if, calm. Just stay calm. Live your life as best as you can. Stay like just calm. continue on. Like you know, if nothing else, take this time to really like you know, love on the people that love mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. If that's how you, if that's how you feel, you know, whatever. Just do things that just continue on. Just continue on as much as you can. And um, remember, just you know, my light moment of it is mm-hmm. wash your ass too. Like just wash your Please, ass. Just wash. Please. Wash them bodies and wash them hands. Wash your body. Wash your hands. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's all. <laughs> Should have been washing your hands already, but you know, right. I used to call people out at work. And I used to get looks. Well, because the we'd be in the bathroom, and I'm like, "You just left that stall. You about to walk?" Oh, I people don't t- wash their hands I didn't no more. Touch my dick, bro. <clears throat> yeah, clearly they was doing the number two. Because <laughs> I was, you were the only one in the bathroom other than me. I went to the urinal and I heard grunting. I'm washing my hands, <laughs> and then behind me in the mirror, you just casually walk out the bathroom. I say, did we learn you get nothing from typhoid Mary? Listen, see, see before you, you get see out you the in door, the door, here I am. Here I am sitting here like, oh, people don't wash their hands no more. And I look, and they look back at me like, asshole, what? 
<laughs> Wash your fucking hands. Wash your hands. And that's the thing. And they better not touch me. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, <laughs> no, that would be a whole situation. A whole situation. <laughs> be anyway. on the news today in Uptown. <laughs> Black man. <laughs> it's like, well. And then here I come. It. I told them not to touch me. <laughs> it's like, damn. Now nah, you got some bail money. No, me either, girl. Okay, Call my mama. <laughs> right. I'm like, hey, mama. Hey, you don't know me. <laughs> but anyway, but that's that's the that's the that's the bones of this situation at this point in time. Um, you know, continue on, y'all. But please, again, keep out and keep a lookout for accurate information. Like I said, the CDC, the World Health Organization, those are accurate, trusted, non-biased, mm-hmm. health professionally run sources. That will give you the accurate information. And look at your city and county and state's local health news. Because yeah. they're getting the same information. Right. And if you don't, because I was going to say, if you don't, because some people don't trust their local health departments, I, go to the state health department. And that's the thing, though. Nobody. Because it's like, they could tell us anything. And they could. But it's just like, well, then that's when you just be like, well, fuck it. Then again, just wash it. You know washing your hands This works. could be a population control thing. What if they tell us to wash our hands more because they put something in the water? We're all going to die. Eventually, yeah. Now. <laughs> now. I mean, uh, Touche. eventually we they're all are going to die. All but... Because and we're, no, no we're time in on debt it. and they're like, oh, we don't have money. We don't have resources. What can we do? We can kill off everyone. And that way the population's down by 13% and our resources are up by 45%. Where are these None percentages of this? coming from? <laughs> None of this math is real. <laughs> like, where, None of this where are these percentages <laughs> coming from? Like, show me the footages. She just, she just rolled up with them. Just like, Yeah, bitch, I wouldn't say that. this is exactly this. what we're talking about. When you're talking about false information, <laughs> this is what hey, we are talking about. At least about. I said, Astridge, <laughs> none of these numbers are real, okay? <laughs> Because it, it was just rope. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a but minute. But see, but seriously, on a serious thing, it only takes that one person yes, to that listen to true. that shit and be like, I heard yep. fucking Rush Limbaugh say, oh, girl. Yep. Even had, though, even though the other two co-hosts was like, wait a minute. And even though she said asterisk. Nah, but she said. Even though she said she was joking. <laughs> even though we said this is all jokes. I'm serious, but my numbers are wrong. My numbers, <laughs> my numbers might be wrong, Look, but the facts it behind it, we it we just tried. are real. All somebody, right. Somebody go get Olivia Pope, please. We need a fixer. My Where's numbers, Huck? my numbers right, are Huck? my numbers are better than Daryl's twenty caliente question that he asked our guest. <laughs> I know that much. I'll give you that one. Okay that's fine. then. <laughs> that's all she wants. Okay then. Oh my god! But that's all. No, honest. all I want is to eat a chip. I just don't know how loud it's going to Because she really has She's been really looking at this bag. <laughs> She even moved it to keep from looking at it, <laughs> but still looking at it. She is struggling. I don't think she thought anybody peeped it, but. No, I did it. <laughs> oh, my God. We were in a good camera here for you guys. <laughs> this is great. I know every podcast says that, and they never get a camera. So I'm going to stop saying because we're never going to get a camera. But we should but get a camera. But when we show up, look. But when we show up, y'all we're better doing. tune in. Y'all better. Oh, man. But that's that's the hard facts and the serious things about the corona thing or whatever, the coronavirus. Um, I do want to talk about some funny shit about coronavirus because at this point in time, again, like... <laughs> laughter what, to pain. Laughter to pain. <laughs> you know, I mean, so... Uh, <laughs> Niall said it earlier, but we're... I don't know why we're calling it Miss Rona, but okay. we're calling it Miss Rona. Miss Rona? They're calling it Miss Rona. They're, what do you call it? Rona! My Rona is non-binary, okay? Um, <laughs> okay. Well... I named mine officially today, and clearly it's a woman. Wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> it, it's Miss Rona. It is a saying. female gender. If any <laughs> disease sex. was any um, personified as a person, it'd be a white man. Okay? Well, how do you feel about hurricanes? Because they have female and male names. Um, I, never I don't like named the me, ethnic I, names and, that they know, choose to use. I think it's wrong that they choose to use ethnic names. Wait, which it ones? Is. Like Sasha and stuff? Was there a hurricane just, Sasha? I, feel like I gotta look Sasha. it up. I don't think there was a Sasha. There was a Dorian. That was the last one, wasn't it? Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Was there one before that? After that? You mean as far as that Hurricanes, name? yeah. I, remember I, I don't remember Dorian. how recent Dorian was, but there was I feel a Dorian. Like that was like last year. I don't know, though. There was a Dorian. Been. Okay. And then I was like, all y'all gotta do is throw a T. Tori. <laughs> Hurricane Tori. <laughs> I don't know how they do this naming system. <laughs> they do switch between male and female. It just be though. stupid names. Katrina. But they also had Oscar Lawrence. and Drew. 
Hugo. No, they had Humberto. I don't remember him. Barry, Irma, Michael. I remember Irma. Harvey, Sandy, Irene, Lorenzo, Wilma, Lloyd, I feel Andrew. like Lorenzo was last year. I feel like Lorenzo was last year. Lorenzo was last year. Um, Humberto was last year. I don't remember that one. Um, Let's get tropical depression. Barry yeah. was last year. <laughs> Irma song. was 2017. I remember Irma. Watch out Wilma Mike. was 05. Floyd was 99. Fuck you, Floyd. I remember Floyd. Andrew too. was 92. <laughs> we we put together. Continue. Hurricane Andrew, 1992 gang. Yeah, we came out the same time, Andrew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and she's proud of this. <laughs> but she was just going off. <laughs> but then as soon as I see one when we came out at the same time, we good. We Gucci. <laughs> Ivan, Igor, Ophelia. Ophelia. I just, Joaquin. I just want to know where they be getting these damn names from. I don't know. There is a system. Felix. And they make it sound like it's so complex, but I feel like mm-hmm. they just be just... Catherine. They, they, they got an algorithm they, they where a, a random yeah. name pops up and they're like, all right, it's Hurricane Lorraine today, guys. I don't know. Um, <laughs> damn, I lost my train of thought. Rona. Hey, Rona. Rona. Um, you Rona said you was going to say something funny. Yeah. I haven't laughed yet. About, wow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Tori was like, <laughs> I was co signing until she went that far. Right. <laughs> like, uh, I'm going to pull sitting back. Here, I'm sitting here like bugaboos, <laughs> making me laugh. <laughs> I'm going to pull back. Oh, man. I was not part of that. No, you were part of it. You allowed it to happen. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. <laughs> no, but uh, oh, that's what I want to talk about. And it, it's it's not funny, but it's it's a- uh, So you lied. I did lie. Uh. Fuck the funny part. I'm still on the, on the somewhat serious things. I guess it's, a, it's we're going in between. Anyway, but it's interesting to see how this will affect everything moving forward. Because, you know, right now we talked about how, um, you know, a large- Gatherings of people, events mm-hmm. have been canceled, postponed, mm-hmm. um, thrown aside, torn asunder. Um, so NBA is completely that is oh. funny because the NBA is completely done. And that first of all, um, what's that man's oh, name? What's I his name? Some, Rudy. Is that now his that name? you said Rudy that, Gobert. look, day two of no basketball. Just found out my girl's favorite color is green. Who the fuck likes green? <laughs> <laughs> See, but that's I'm just here, like, I'm like, I was like. Sports? There's no Art. other shows that no. I'm watching right now. And see, it's for someone who doesn't watch sports, me, like I'm just like, oh, I didn't, this is play- I didn't even know. This what, is about even, to be playoff season. I didn't even know what sports season we were in. Honestly, between the fact that like Kobe's passed away, and this has nothing to do with sports, but it's just like what I'm thinking. Like, there's a lot of people who's been passing away, and we're like month three. A lot of people pass away. It's I know people die year. every day, B, but like hell of people have been passing mm-hmm. away, and um. Then this is happening, and the people from this is passing away. Well, some people are, and it's just like there's just a lot going on, and just I, that's what I'm saying. I really feel like there's something bigger going on because like why are these people passing? Away? Floyd Mayweather's um, baby mom yeah, just passed that. away. We still don't know why. Didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah she that. passed away. She was no found idea. in her Wednesday, car right? unresponsive. Oh wow! And they and then having said why they said um, right now it's not. We're not ruling it as a homicide. We're ruling it as a um, death that needs to be investigated. Because mm, they don't, because they don't know how she died, and like there's, there was no, it says no foul play, but like she was suing him for twenty million. So it's just like, mm. it's just like there's always something. I always feel like there's like a deeper story. There's never some simplicity to the shit that goes on because there's so many higher priorities that we don't even know. That the people who we think are the higher parties don't even know, and who had like play us like puppets, and they mm. got shit going on. But see, and I think for for my thinking about all that is because I mean ob- that's that's obviously true. Like that's obviously true in certain you know instances. Like I mean, there's always going to be some deeper meaning to things that us common folk mm-hmm. won't be privy to for whatever. I mean, you don't like you say they don't just make shit up in these like TV shows and whatever else is basically. Mm-hmm. In truth, in some way, shape, or form, but it's like when you, on the on the common ground level, like how do you deal with that from day to day? I know for me, I'm just like, okay, well, there's that, nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do, and I feel that on, way. It was know? really it's the fact that I have a Mara that right. really has me like I'm not in panic mode, but it like there's a part of me that kind of is mm-hmm. where it's just like I really do need to start thinking about something because. Like right now, if something was to happen, like I said earlier, I'd be okay, like thinking, okay, I'm with y'all, we're safe, blah, blah, blah. But my go to is to get to my daughter. So right. then it's like, I won't be able to be with y'all because I have to go wherever she is. And I don't know 
where the fuck she is right now. She might be with my sister. She might be with my mom. My mom don't even answer the phone. I know. So then she don't answer the phone. Now I'm panicking because she already don't answer the phone. So are you not answering the phone? Because this is typical Gail. Are you not answering the phone because you're dead somewhere? Like, I wouldn't know what to do if, like, we looked outside right now. It's just people, chaos, people running, cars running, it's poles, like, shit like that. I wouldn't even know what to do. I'll be freaked out. I'll probably try to just crawl up in the ball and be like, fuck it. Nah, like, nah, there's, 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 there's nothing to I'm do. Because I'm going to be like, nah, you better get your ass the fuck there's up and let's go. There's nothing to do. <laughs> there's there's nothing like, we got to go. I don't know where Mar at, but you, we, you said you need to get to her. We <laughs> need her. to go. Get your ass up and let's go. <laughs> I got the worst shoes on for this shit, y'all. I got no goddamn heels. You better take them bitches off and leave them. I am going to take them off, but then I'm like, now I got no shoes on. And I don't hey, got shoes. Listen. You, I should, listen, I actually I'm like, Daryl, just might, grab her ass and let's go. I'd much rather run the knees than run in no shoes. Like... <laughs> Cause it come I, down to that we we got to move we no. got to move. It, it's just really crazy. I I wouldn't know what to do. I really wouldn't. If if goddamn shit came across the screen because like you said earlier or what we both were saying like it's just going to be mass panic. Mm. And even though the news says stay the fuck in the house, don't go anywhere, we'll let you know. Blah 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 blah. Hella people are running outside, yeah. breaking into stores because. And I really don't understand the point of getting a large. 70 inch television and the and mass panic because um next week electricity is gonna be off dick so like you I, can't watch saying, your 70 inch tv when people saying, loot during like yeah. mass oh, panic yeah, i got you i got you As but like, i did hear about people actually going to, going and stealing toilet paper though i mean and it's just like again like i think when people it comes to people like looting things i think number one is just Oh, I can do it just because I fucking can. Yeah. There's number one. And then number two, I think a lot of people just like if I go in and I'm going to loot and I steal like a pallet of water, I know that water is going to be a valuable resource. I can sell that. Shit. I get and looting that's a lot of people, water. No, I'm saying, it's not I right, get but. looting drugs. I get looting um, like. Other thing. Yeah. Like first aid stuff. Yeah. I get looting those items. That makes sense. Loot those things. You'll need them. But like when I, I was just thinking about the other day, like, okay. What am I supposed to do for like nourishment for Amara? Like she can't drink out these titties no more. Um, she doesn't drink formula. She drinks milk. If I don't have a refrigerator for milk, if we don't have an, I don't know how to press almonds. Okay, I don't know how to make almond milk. Pedialyte, if you can. Find she it. don't fucking like. Well, she don't like the off brand one. Maybe if I find the on brand one, she'll like it. But she doesn't like the off brand one. I could not get her to drink it when she was sick. But yeah, I just be thinking about shit like that. Like how the fuck. Is my child, who's a picky ass eater, supposed to survive? Because I was just commending myself on being born in this day and age. Because if I had to fucking deal with a guy, wasn't we just talking about that? Yeah. Like if I had to fucking deal with um being a part of a genocide, mm -hmm. where it's me and six other families hiding in the closet, and I got a Mars loud ass with me, we would be dead. We all in this damn closet. We all hungry. We all don't got fucking food. Like, and my child is just not equipped to be one of those. I'm going to shut up and sit here docilely in this closet for three months and eating one nut every six scraps of food that mm. the person who's letting us hide in the closet is feeding us. My child's not equipped for that. My child is not equipped for staying in an attic for months at a time behind a cupboard. My child is just not equipped for that shit. And so if this turns into some shit where we got to be equipped to being quiet, to not eating as much as we want to and all that other stuff, my child is not ready. She's not. She's too spoiled. She would get us taken out. Zombies, she getting us taken out. She might kill a couple of zombies, <laughs> but she going to get us taken out in the process. So it's just like, I just really hope this doesn't turn into anything because I am not equipped and neither is my child. And I don't know if that makes me a bad parent, but I'm just being real. I'm not. I'm not equipped. Not whatsoever. And I need 2020 to get a little bit better. Because, yeah, 2019 it's, is laughing at us. It's been a roller coaster. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't uh, think any of us know. I don't think the no. government knows. And that's why I'd be like, allegedly. Because... <laughs> Even doctors, it's trial and error. Do you know how many doctors I've gone to and they tell me like some bullshit about what I might have, what I might not have? Some doctors have just given me medication like just in case you have this here and that way you don't have to come back in the office when we do get your test results. They don't really mm. fucking know. One of my friends thought she had Lyme's disease. No, she thought she had Crohn's disease for over a year. And it turned out she had Lyme's disease, which is curable. 
And it's like they were prescribing her from Crohn's disease, mm-hmm. giving her medication for Crohn's disease. Yeah. For years. It's like y'all don't really fucking know what the fuck y'all doing. Y'all just trying to figure out and we just supposed to be like, well, they went to school for it. Like, nah, nigga. Like, do you know what you're talking about? Are you sure? Like, we can find out this whole, this a whole different type of something mm-hmm. in a couple months. See, with the doctor thing, because I have a friend that just takes whatever the doctor tells him and go for it. And I'm like, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, the doctors work for you. If you don't feel like they're telling you the right thing or you feel like it's something else, press on it. Like, make them work for you. You pay them. You The insurance that you have pays them that you pay for either through your paycheck or whatever. You pay them. Mm-hmm. They work for you. Press it. If you don't like what that doctor is doing, that's why they always say get a third opinion, second or third opinion. And then when you find that doctor, because when I go to new doctors, family doctor, whatever, I try to see how they are about giving out medication. Mm-hmm. If you willy nilly just willing, you there know, you get out medication, I'm not going to you yeah, because you're yeah. not for me. You're working for the prescrip for the prescribers, mm-hmm. the medical to the get that things. that that bonus check, and mm-hmm. I ain't with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a tough thing. It's it's it's, it's a tough thing. Um, and I think that's it. We're like you said, we're all just trying to figure it out at the same time. <laughs> And so I guess that's really what the issues. But then when you think about like all the other like infectious diseases in the past that are still around, but that we've learned how to treat mm-hmm. and cure, like what was that like during those times? Like remember right. when everyone was dying of polio? Mm-hmm. Like well, you, we wouldn't remember that, but but you know, yeah, when <laughs> it was you a know, thing, we talk, right? Right? Yeah, when like so like that was a thing forever. Mm-hmm. I mean, polio is mm-hmm. still a thing, but now so like, you get a shot for that. Like right. age two and like no more polio, right. you know? So it's, I don't know. I feel like this, I feel like some of this is, I don't even want to say normal. <laughs> Day two of her without sports found a young lady sitting on my couch yesterday. Apparently she's my wife. She seems nice. <laughs> my God. Niggas get on my nerves. <laughs> my God. Yeah. So I don't know. But I just, like just to touch on sort that. Of normal in that regard. Yeah. And just to touch on that right now, we have leadership of our country. Ugh. That <laughs> Ugh. would rather downplay the situation than calling it for what it is and making people feel unsafe instead of just going at it heads on and worrying more about how he appears with the economy. Y'all think Trump got Corona? I do. He's been, sure he he been in contact with too many people. He's got it. I'm sure he's got it. Because he, he just said he would take the test. He's like, not because exactly. I was in contact exactly. with that. And he's shaking hands with the people that. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't my president. (laughs) He got it. This didn't happen when my president was in office. The only thing that I'm like cautionary on with him getting tested and he tests positive because he is the leader of the free world. And And he's world leader, basically. Well, that too. But world markets are going to tank quickly. Stock markets already like. It's going to go worse than what it already has been. Yeah. If he tests positive, because they're going to have to report that. That's what we need. To, that's the biggest thing for me that I'm like, people should get ready for, because we're already in recession. They haven't announced it, but it's oh, going. Lord. It's only going to be recession from here. You think we're going to have an our Great Depression? Or do you think there's enough? If we get enough, if we have another four years of Trump, we will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just like, y'all, I was starting to do things in 2020. Like shit was starting to go right. <laughs> I mean, not to say right, that like, won't, I really it's just like, saw you know, myself it makes you like look. picking my life back up and like yeah. actually like <laughs> setting like, things shit. up to be better, mm-hmm. do better, create better for my daughter. And now it's like, am I supposed to be preparing for her to be like not knowing what a lot of shit is? Mm-hmm. And yeah, there was a time where television existed. Oh, wow, we can watch a movie today, mom. There's yeah. enough energy left in the house for a movie. Right. I have I heard about these when I was a kid, but I've never seen one. Now she's mm-hmm. 25. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I just don't have it time. It does make that. you think. It really yeah. does make you think. I mean, it's it, there's a lot of uncertainty. And it that's is. why we're in this. That's why we're talking about it now. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of uncertainty. No one knows what's going on. And a little on. bit of anger. I don't know for everybody. And I'll say for me, a little bit of anger uh-huh. because my 401k, I have lost hundreds. Oh, hey, we checked my 401k. Hold the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. 
How do you and lose money? Hold on. Anytime them them that market go. <laughs> shit, let me log in. Like shit. the last time I looked, I've lost almost fifteen percent, going on sixteen, and I'm like, I'm I'm not just I'm not gonna look anymore. And that's when I got pissed because I was like, now it's affecting me. <laughs> anyway, um, sports. Yeah, day five without sports. Yeah. What's that man's name? Who? Um, the one that was touching everything like a dumbass. Oh, um, that basketball Donovan? player. No, not him. The other one. Go, the one that was uh, touching all the mics. Rudy. Rudy. What's his yeah. name? Rudy Gobert. Uh huh. And then you got. Then he don't he got it. He has. Yeah, it. he was the first one that tested like, positive. You're, you're you're a fucking idiot. I and hope then, they jumped you. <laughs> I really hope they jumped. And then you. Donovan. On the same team. Yeah, because he was touching all his fucking yeah, head. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck is and wrong with And Charles you? Barkley is in self quarantine waiting on test results. It's so stupid. Like and this is where this is where I think the joke things go too far. Like, why would you even fuck around and play like that? What the yeah. fuck? Like even Especially if Especially after think, already, like, you know, sweating, pores sweating, open. All that. And then like you know that you are in a market that is highly susceptible because yes. you're traveling all the fucking time. Yes. People don't think about shit like that. That's mm-hmm. why I'm like, I hope they jumped your ass. <laughs> like <laughs> after the fact. There was a plane um that landed in New York from JetBlue. That was a couple a couple Yeah, and they ago. banned him. And see, and I was just like, I was in my mind, I really wanted to give him every day, like, maybe he really just didn't fucking know. And then he just got the text, like, when they landed. But at the same time, if you know you had gotten tested. You shouldn't have not been flying. I That's just, how I feel about the person that, the first person that ended up having it in uh, Raleigh. That, well, the first two people. Oh, in Wake County? And they had yeah. came back, one had came back from uh, Italy. Oh, God. And the other one had came from... Uh, Washington, the nursing home that was the epicenter yeah, in Washington. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, the person in Washington, you know, you were supposed to directly go to the, the whatever CDC quarantine area yeah. to report yourself and be quarantined there. Now the CDC and whoever else, they got to go back to the plane that you rode or flew on, planes if you had connection, yeah, and contact all those people that and that's may where, have been and exposed. That's where I think we're in terms of where I feel like you can help it and not have to put yourself in that situation as someone who may have possibly been infected or whatever have you, don't be a selfish dickhead. Yeah, I was about to say, like, it's disrespectful. I feel like that was just, I was just like, I feel I'm like, again, I hope everyone on that jet blue plane jumped your ass when they landed. Because like, yeah. I feel like, I, I really feel now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, there's no way you didn't know that you possibly had yeah. it. Because you just got a text message with your test results, which means you had concern, which means you shouldn't have gone on the fucking plane You should have been in self-quarantine place. in the first place. Wherever you had got tested at, and that's that's the part that makes me upset because it's like this is and this again this is how how this is how shit spreads like that yeah. like doing dumb shit like when you're purely doing dumb shit like that then no like that's how this shit spreads now if you just truly had no fucking idea I don't even know I mean I've been reading like signs and symptoms and all that stuff but it's just like but the, how do you but really the thing know is test? like we I was talking to some of my coworkers and signs and symptoms I'm like they really don't know because. Yeah. Some of them you see, it was like, oh, sneezing isn't one of them because that's allergies, but it could be passed through sneezing. Yeah. Then other ones you see, and it's like sneezing is. So it's like, we, you really don't know. Let's just put it out there as if you have flu symptoms, like most of the people have been doing. The the uh, public health director here has been great about that. If you have f- flu symptoms, we're just going to presumptively say you have it quarantine you until we get the results back if it doesn't come back as anything cool perfect but at least we got you out of areas of yeah spreading it if you do instead of having to go back and backtrack on it you know i just really hope <laughs> that i can go on vacation in august and that i can enjoy g hope in october i really would like this shit to be gone by summertime as if i can help that but <laughs> you know i would really love to like have a summer and be out and be able well, to travel you know. and just go on the beach and you know, just be I in spaces with people. It is <laughs> going by August. Because, you know, y'all may not be excited for it. However, my girl is on tour and she's coming to Charlotte. And I plan, Alicia. I am going to see Alicia. As you should. In, in uh, August. It just hit me again. It was all in my throat. <laughs> but on the NBA and sports team, one thing that they have done, I know we talked about them being stupid with the two players, right? You're stupid. What, that's I, all I'm say. what I have admired is, and it started out with um, Mark Cuban, owners of uh, the owner of the Mavericks, and making sure that they are putting 
their own money into paying the salaries for those part time and full time employees. Yes, of those, I did see of that. Those places because Zion Williamson and I, said he's going to do that too. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. And I thought that was good. That was yeah. really good because that. And is I'm like, something. other people should, yes. start to take lead with that. Like, yeah. And that is a concern. No, they do shit like donate $10,000 and then be like, if y'all want to donate towards helping these folk out, Text three, if three, we want to donate, <laughs> we yeah. might be losing our, who going to donate to my pocket? <laughs> right. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, that, that has been, I'm like, that's dope. You know, you see the people that's doing it, especially when you have multiple people, but the owners, yeah. I think should also step up like Mark Cuban did. He like, they should. They have it shouldn't money. just be on the players, but it, I like that the players are doing it too. Yeah. But that goes into the other conversation about, um, about work, about work with this whole situation. Um, I don't know how everyone else's individual places of employment are responding, but I know that like several, you know, places here in Charlotte, um, you know, are giving people the leeway and the go ahead and work from home or mm -hmm. whatever have you. And that will say that is something that has been brought up multiple, multiple times about this whole thing is the amount of jobs that people mm -hmm. can do from mm -hmm. home. And yet we have to go, go in, in to an office. <laughs> that has been a thing. Day. It's like, so these jobs that y'all told us we couldn't do from home. I can, I, I can, can in fact, do from home. <laughs> it's it's just baffling. It's just a little interesting. Like 100% <laughs> do from home. I know my job per se. I can definitely do 100% from home. So Same it's going to be here. interesting. <laughs> it's just interesting to see other, in but I knew that. Like I already knew that. Yeah, we yeah. have that capability. But like, yeah. Just seeing the amount How of other industries. How it's going to transform afterwards, right? Yeah, just because, the amount of other industries that have that yeah. that you wouldn't have thought. But it's like, oh, wait, you, I can. Right. I've always been able to do this. Yeah, because um, now you have AT&T. You have, you know, big communications companies that they're working yeah. from home. And I'm like, so you really yeah. don't need these centers. Right. You, you don't. You don't need a call center. You a don't need a the breeding center. ground of disease in yeah. and of itself right there on a normal day. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. But um. It's interesting, like with with the jobs, like yes, um, we haven't thought about, or like a lot of consideration may not have gone into that mm -hmm. with um, how this is going to affect people's working, um, mm -hmm. people that work part time, people that are hourly. Mm -hmm. um, what does that look like? Are these companies, like I said, going to step up and pay their employers mm -hmm. um, and and not make them use like their PTO right. to cover the time that they're out of work? And that was the other thing that was passed with that bill. Um, for uh, for t emergency two weeks paid uh -huh. uh, time off. Um, I don't. I feel like that should go to anybody where their job is shut down. They don't have yeah. You, you can't know, come those in. benefits. Yeah, and also as far as if you have it, you shouldn't have to use that PTO balance. Yeah, I mean that's just unfair. How are you going to make me use the time that I have earned for something to that's pay for something that ain't got right. nothing to do with me? Like <laughs> you're making me stay home. Yes. Why am I using my yes. time? <laughs> yes. Don't do that. That's stupid. Um. And if you think about it in a roundabout way, a lot of companies are saving money by having people work yeah, from home and not having to be physically open. And all of that, right? Right. You know, <laughs> that's just my thinking of it. You know, if there's a silver lining anywhere in there. Mm -hmm. um, and I get some protective braids just in case, like, no products exist anymore, or like shit like that. Mm -hmm. That way my hair is already, like, up and out the way. That makes sense, you know, yeah, and that's why when you, I always be watching, whenever I be watching those like, you know, apocalypse shows, they've clearly been out in the elements for like months and months and months. I'm just like, who want to know your scalp stick? Because I've been thinking about that for myself. I'm, I'm like, looting something. I'm damn sure looting a beauty supply store for hella hair products. And <laughs> she's going to be late as late. It's like. I had a coworker. How that your was curls popping like that? Well, girl, the first thing I saw was on Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> and no, you can't have it. No, I got a sock pile in the house. This thing, you look, come in the house, looking, ain't no food. Looking, then it'd be like, why are you looking at me like that? You better back the fuck up. <laughs> okay. I kill you. <laughs> but my coworker, she was she was highly pissed because she had got a text message Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday that her um, her weave. Was not coming. Oh, oh and yes. they canceled. They gave her her money back, yeah. and I was like, and I asked her, I said, "Well, did they give you your money back?" She said, "I don't give a fuck about getting my they money got it. back." But that's the thing, and see, that's real though, because that's what I say. Like. Okay, y'all want to have these Malaysian bundles, <laughs> and I just thought it was and funny, these Peruvian was like, bundles. Now I gotta walk around with a hat on, and I was like. Okay, but yeah, my friend was like asking me. She was like, "Yeah, 
um, should I, you think I should spray it with like Lysol when it gets here? Like, and supposed to wash I'm it like, anyway, though. Yeah, right. I was like, well, first of all, you should wash your hair when it gets here, regardless. But I don't want it to lose its shine. All right, well, you sold it in for mm. the shine. <laughs> <laughs> you have fun your with weave that. should not be shiny. Anyway. Oh, I mean, there is a shine and a luster that you want to come from it. You don't want no dry ass, dry dull ass, ass mad ass. That's what I was thinking about. Like, like conditioning in it, though. That depends. I mean, I get what she's saying. Like, there's a certain fluffiness shine that the, the first thing that after a wash you're not going to mm. get back some hair yeah you will get it back but some hair no okay. you're not getting that shit back and and then i and i get like like i had one hair once i washed it the wave that i had in it it wasn't the same wave it got wavy but it wasn't like it wasn't as strong as it was when i first got the hair gotcha. and so yeah it really just depends question uh, can people <laughs> yeah can people um if they can't get, you know, this Malaysian and all the rest of it right now. I haven't heard anybody talking about yaki. Do they still sell yaki? Yeah, they still sell, they sell all yaki. of that. They, I'm about to say, they can sell they synthetic to, hair. Get and some pack hair. I was about to say, can they just go back to the yaki? The, the only <laughs> difference... <laughs> The difference is the quality of hair and how people take care of it. People right, right, right. don't want to take care of their hair, which is why they mostly get protective hairstyling. Right, right. So it's like, okay, if I have higher quality hair, then I, I can go to sleep on it and wake mm-hmm. up, maybe yeah, just yeah. brush it out. You can't fall asleep on yakky hair <laughs> right. and just brush it out because that shit's knotted the fuck up. Now you now either you got to cut it into a bob or like <laughs> something, you're just not going to have the same hair. And I've seen people do some amazing things with some cheap wigs. But those people recognize the wigs are cheap and they take great care right, right, of these you. things. You can't you can't treat bad quality hair like high quality hair and everybody wants. That's like when people say to me all the time, like, oh, I love your hair. I wish my hair would do that. Your hair would do something similar to what my hair is doing if you took care of your mm-hmm. hair. It took me mm-hmm. a minute to get my hair to the point where when it looks like crap, other people think it looks good. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like I take care of my hair. I spend time to do my hair. If all you ever going to want to do with your hair is blow dry it, flat iron it, mm-hmm. and all that other shit, then yeah, yeah your curls will not pop. Yeah. So it's just, That's <laughs> true, just though, like, it's all about I what you put into it. When I had hair, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and people used to be like, I would have females on campus that would ask me what I was doing with my hair because it had shine. Right? We had hard water on campus. Ooh. And I was like, well, I do protein treatments. And I thought that was like normal for everybody because I'm like, if I'm a dude no. and, and I'm, my mom was, had started protein treatments on me in middle school, mm-hmm. I just thought it was a thing because most of my female friends knew about fro- you know, protein treatments. So yeah. when I got to college, I was like, yeah, protein treatment. They was like, what's that? I was like, oh. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <no>. Oh. <laughs> I learned about the protein and the tea tree early on. And I was like, let's do it. Let's, this tea tree is cleans that scalp. Mm-hmm. Let's do a protein treatment right after. Let's mm-hmm. put a little oil on it, massage it, deep condition. Yep. It's a process. But um, that's interesting. Clip no, those ends. Cl- clip them. <laughs> you got to, or else your hair ain't going to grow. It's going to keep splitting. But um, see, but yeah, that's, that's the thing. What other things will we need that are not, you know, essential things that, uh, we need I don't so this in the event that we still would have electricity mm-hmm. if something were to go crazy um I need I need music I need my music I need to have like my phone charged I need some of these streaming services to still be working mm-hmm. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I need something if I'm be running in the fucking forest from zombies I need a soundtrack <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I'm saying but it's I a non essential essential I get it I get it I get it <laughs> it's a non essential. Oh my god. What would your oh I don't what would your soundtrack sound like? What would it be a you mix of? Know what it would be. It'd be a mix of uh-huh. high intensity uh Tinashe with oh some gosh. disco, um, and probably some, a lot of eighties music. A lot of like high like energy like shit because I'm on you. the move. Okay? So a little Diana. A lot of Diana. Mine <laughs> some is Beyonce. All a lot trap of Tinashe. Music. All, right. all trap music. <laughs> I need some money bag, yo, some key glock. Some motherfucking gunner, some motherfucking um, I was to call him Space Walker. That's not his fucking name. What's his name? Something Walker. Um, I just need all hood enriched shit, like some shit where I'm just like bopping to that. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm in a zombie apocalypse in my own. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, that's what I need. I just need some shit where I need some killer music, some roll the dope. Flip a brick. I need that type of shit. I need some Jeezy. I need it all. Like yeah, I need I, some trap music. Two chains, old two chains, Titty Boy. I need some. Boy. Yeah, I need some. <laughs> <laughs> I need some. I need some damn old or I need just need trap music. 
You know, and I need some to and I, like my nineties R and B. Yeah, yeah. And that's essential. I need my two, <laughs> I need my two thousand. <laughs> I need my two thousands hip hop. Cause I need, I gotta listen to the um, 2001 album by Dre. I gotta like, I gotta listen to that. Okay. So it's just like, oh, no. speaking of which, fun fact for you, if you didn't already know, today is the 25th anniversary of Tupac's yes, album. Yes, I did know. Good. I'm okay. glad you know. I was like, oh, let me share that with Nia. Yes, I did see. I need today. to remember his first name. I always forget, and then I always remember, like re-educate myself, and then I'm like, that's not his name. But I mean, that's like his birth name. I was thinking about doing something like real simple, like getting that shit tatted on me. It's like, who can trail? Oh, I should not have said that. <laughs> that was the wrong name. I should never have said this name. Y'all know who can trail is? NBA Young Boy. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Bad Baby had his name tatted on her head and uh, shit. Was she dating him or something? No, she was like, that's just my friend. We love each other. Um, and like, well, she had his I mean, name. I'm not. Okay. Uh, I'm so disappointed in Bad Baby because she really could have just been some. Ratchet country white girl <laughs> who who actually though she ain't writing her own shit can fucking have a flow because some of her songs is actually some fucking bops but then she just do too fucking much like bitch mm. just shut up shut your young ass up god damn it <laughs> I'm here trying to fight Sky Jackson and her mama shut the oh, fuck God. up okay and Sky's with I all the that. shits man <laughs> Sky been with the shit since she was teen since day one <laughs> anyway what's your playlist my playlist would be. A little bit of everything, but you know, of course, I'm gonna have have to have Alicia. Um, what song are you running in the forest through with Alicia? I, I mean, know. what's your running in the forest? Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> you said no. <laughs> no, no. Um, if I was an Alicia song that I would run through the forest to, it would definitely be. It would have to be. Uh, what is it? Uh, only thing, you I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of like, because I'm thinking of like three songs. So go ahead, go ahead. That's on as I am. Okay. Um, because it's upbeat. Okay. Then there would be new day. I would have to. I would have to do new day. That would probably be the one. Okay. Because it 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 got all the instruments to it. Got like you. yeah, that would be the one. That if I had to choose a Alicia song. I wouldn't choose the Alicia song to run to though. Uh, so that's why I asked. <laughs> okay, so what is your running what is your running through the forest song? My running through the forest song? I don't have a set song, but it would have to be like it I would have a little bit of Rihanna, a little bit of Beyonce, a little bit of trap, a little Some bit high of, energy. Yeah, like high energy stuff. But then I need my Alicia and my Jill Scotts yeah. for my, you know, and my, you know, classical, you know, Beethoven and stuff like that to just really when I'm thinking of my master plan of okay, where the fuck am I going next? That's that sitting around the campfire music. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, I'm gonna be walking though. Um, now my Alicia, my Maxwell, that's my sitting around the campfire. You know. This is such a Virgo. <laughs> 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 We're so car you know, we I mean I too had all that, but compartments. That makes sense. You know, it's all in there. So what <laughs> so next question, what is your what's your weapon of choice? I'm actually giving us this, this look about Virgo. <laughs> it's okay. My weapon of choice. In what? In the event that this is a zombie, zombie apocalypse. apocalypse. Yeah. Any fucking thing. I mean, yes. <laughs> Any but if you fucking had, thing. Like, if you could grab that, any one thing, what? Oh, um, Lucille. If y'all don't know what Lucille is, don't fucking talk to me. Y'all not going to survive. Look, because the first thing I thought about was BB King. So clearly, I'm wrong. <laughs> no, Lucille. <laughs> Lucille the is a Bob <laughs> Wired rat wooden belt. Oh. That Negan from The Walking okay. Dead uses, and his wife was named Lucille, so he named the bat Lucille. Gotcha. And, um, I think things like bats with spikes mm -hmm. sticking out of it, bats wrapped in barbed wire. I think these are things something that I can get like a nice little some weight on it, some yeah. swing to. Mm -hmm. um, Guns always a good choice, but I haven't like that's why I really need to start going to the gun range and getting my shot up because there's this show on Netflix called Black Summer and it's a pretty good zombie show. But like this dude picked up this gun and he just a shooting and it's like nigga at this point I need you to walk up on my nigga and shoot him because you wasting hella bullets or run walk up on them get close enough that you actually shoot in something or run because you shooting losing all your bullets and then running it, it ain't it i need you to pick pick a poison because if you can't shoot just don't of close shots only yeah 
Yeah. I'm sorry. And I can't shoot. So I'm going to either get the fuck or I'm going to wait till <laughs> it's that. close enough and I'm going to shoot it because I'm like I'm not about to waste bullets. Yeah, I was about to say bullets need to be saved. They really do. Like, that's like, like when you're trying to shoot a Which is another reason why I said like we need to work together instead of shooting one another because now we're shooting. Like I can see if like... There, you know, there's those people who are like, okay, the rule book's completely out. Let's rape, let's pillage, there's let's let's murder. Uh, uh, Roy Cooper just announced that all public schools in the state will close for two weeks starting Monday. Well, he knew that was coming. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I feel so bad for my friend. Because, like, her husband is just not good when it comes to, like, being with the kids. Like, they drive him crazy. And, like... I'll ask you about that later because it's like, well, why... And I'm just like, Kids he's going to, he doesn't work. So he's going to be at home it's a question for, a lot of people. for two weeks with the kids. Mm-hmm. Their relationship's about to be in turmoil. I just Uh-oh. see it now. Like, it's just going to be in turmoil. Because well, you know, um. I'm just like, he's not going to survive two weeks. And as far as the question of why do people have children? And one, a lot of people think that having children means... um as long as I do da, 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 and I raise my kid to be this way, my kid can turn out to be like a really good listener. Your kid could be a really good listener. Like her children are good listeners. Her children are sweet. Her children are respectful. But her children are children. Yeah. And they act crazy and they do crazy stuff and they have temperaments. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. Yeah, he's screaming and acting crazy and all this other stuff, but going and screaming back. Like, I'm going to say, my child, she got crazy. And I have to remember like, yeah, I know that you are fully aware and all that other stuff. But at the end of the day, I do have to remember you're a child. So it's just like a lot of people, they don't like, they choose not to remember that their children are children. They have this, I'm an adult, you're a child, listen mm-hmm. mindset. And a lot of people just do not have the patience in the mind. It's, it's like a patience. lot to take care of of another human being. That's true. Especially when you just spent years of taking care of yourself. And then like now all of a sudden it's like, I have to be responsible. Otherwise I'm a piece of shit. I neglected my child and all this other stuff. But like, I'm pretty sure every single parent has had a moment where they literally want to walk away. Yeah. And it's not because you don't love that kid. It's not because like you're a horrible person. It's just like it becomes really overwhelming and that's instinct. Like I just want to take care of myself at this point, but I'm a piece of shit if I do. And a lot of men, they don't think about what it takes to raise a child. They don't think about any of that shit. They just be nothing and bitches and they don't fucking care. Like they don't think uh, that, oh, she can just get an abortion. That affects our bodies. Mm-hmm. Oh, she can just do this. Like it's just like no, like niggas do not care. And they just be like, oh, well, you'll just have the kid. Like I see some dude that was just like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely about to get my shorty pregnant again. Like, have you talked to shorty? Does she know this? Like niggas do not be caring. They will nut up in you and not tell you and like. Just let it be. And then, like, you pregnant, and they're like, oh, great. Like, no, nigga. Like, now there's 500 extra dollars I got to spend if I want to get an abortion. Or now there's hella extra bread we got to spend if we actually have this kid. So, yeah, a lot of people, they have kids. They don't think about what it means to have kids. Especially if you have kids back to back. You ain't have a child long enough to know what it, like, what a toddler baby versus preteen teenage phase all them different fucking phases they all fucking all different shit come with them motherfucking things but yeah a lot that's just how some people are they just they don't think about what it means to have kids and they literally and they don't you don't know that you're not equipped to have kids until you have kids because i know the feelings i had towards kids before i had a mom was different and it got better and then it get worse some people it gets worse be like man fuck these little things I'm like <laughs> i feel you but i love mine so <laughs> Nah, it's just hard. It's hard. And that's what I think about for these parents, like, who have to have their kids for, like, sometimes that's the fucking break you get. Yeah. That's that's the one break. You get them six damn hours that they're in school and you got this small little window of a break. And it's just like, now you don't. Like, what are you supposed to do then? Like, you're going to go crazy. And I feel bad for those parents who do not have the mental capability to recognize when they're going to go crazy and restrain themselves from doing so mm-hmm. because that's going to have a lot of kids hurt because yeah. the parents who impulse is to abuse and they're going to hurt their children a lot more because they're not going to have the patience. They're going to be pissed that they're in the house. They're going to be pissed that they're running out of food because a lot of people don't have the fucking 
funds to go to the store and buy a whole bunch of fucking toilet paper and a whole bunch of resources. They still rationing their shit. They, they was rationing before they had the ration. Yeah. So it's just like we don't have all of that to be doing all that with shit. Well, I'll say even with um services, like my daughter only drinks almond milk. She doesn't drink whole milk. All Wick gives us is soy milk. She doesn't drink soy milk. So it's just like even with services, I have to purchase her milk because she's not going to drink what they're going to give us. And that's back to me saying we're not prepared for this world to shut down with my bougie-ass daughter and her bougie-ass taste buds because <laughs> if I can't get her almond milk, she's not going to eat. Like she, she'll drink water, but like she's not like she already barely eats. Milk is pretty much where she gets her nutrition from. So I don't know. It's a lot going down. I feel bad that those schools are shutting down. I know as children, you're like, yay. But now that we're adults, it's like, mm. oh, no. Oh. No, mm. no, 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 no. Yeah. That's like when A&T pretty much shut down because of the snow. It's like, God damn. <laughs> right. I'm glad I got an apartment because I don't know what I would have done and if I, I stayed in the But the thing about A&T, though, is they would let you stay in your dorm. Yeah. Like, if you couldn't go home, they let you stay in your dorm. Like these schools that are just like kicking people out and they're like, figure it out. Like that's fucked Go up. Go home. It's that's like, real fucked up. Yeah. And another thing about NT, they put you in a hotel room. Like if I they're didn't like know that. Yeah. You don't remember that? Like they fucked up like hella people's dorm rooms and shit. And they oh, had people yes, in dorms yes, for like the longest that. of time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they had people in dorms some people was in dorms for like two months. I mean, so hotel wait, rooms for like two months. When they closed y'all for the snow, y'all had to leave campus? No, no. it was like no, we had some no. They, oh, we didn't have to. Okay. Like I stayed in an apartment during that time, but there were definitely say, people who couldn't who couldn't go back home, and they let those people stay on campus, and they opened the calf up for like certain hours mm-hmm. so that those people got food. Got you, got you. So, yeah, that's um, what I'm saying. Go to an out. HBCU. Actually, I don't know if all HBCUs. They don't. Go to A and T. A and T. All HBCUs don't. They definitely don't. Um, damn. School's gonna close for two weeks. Now, the, ooh, ooh, but you know what? And this whole thing just exposes all the holes in our systems because we, again, there's no backup plan traditionally for if schools are closed indefinitely like that. For like, how are you gonna feed these kids? That like, this is their rely only meal. on eating at school. And like, that's what I said. If 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 schools follow suit or states follow suit, they need to look at what Ohio, Maryland. In those four states that initially just automatically did it, they need to be reaching out to those governors and asking, how are you implementing yeah. sending those meals to those kids and yeah. throughout the state? I'm and the thing Montgomery is, County Public School shut down. That's where I grew up going to school. Yeah. Before I went came here. And the thing is, I don't what I don't want to hear, what I think is not a valid excuse at all in any way, shape, form. It wasn't a valid excuse before, but now like we don't have the fun. Yes, mm-hmm. you do. Yeah. Funds have been allocated mm-hmm. already. For especially because we're still in the same, we're still. This is what I learned about working in corporate America now is that we're still in last year's fiscal year. The fiscal year doesn't change for a lot of companies until like June, July, yep, mid year. So, <laughs> um, with that being said, you have funds allocated to number one, pay your employees. Mm-hmm. So there should be nobody missing pay mm-hmm. during this time, even if like they're not working because you had the money set aside mm-hmm. that if they were going to work anyway, you're going to give it to them. Right, pay them. I'm about saying that's typically why you get raises. Right during this between now and. June, if you're going to get a raise, yeah, exactly. raises in the, as we call it, this hat last half of the year. Yeah. So pay them people, and then number two, like with the school system, if they talk, if that's if they try to make that excuse that we don't have the funds mm-hmm. to feed these kids mm-hmm. or whatever else, yes, the fuck you do. Yeah. Speaking of funds, I was just reading um, that a federal judge just blocked uh, the order that Trump had was trying to do, like I think beginning next week, where they were going to cut. 700,000 people off of food stamps. Um, the federal judge just blocked that and told him that can't happen. You know, we just got a lot of recklessness <laughs> going on. Um, that's why I'm just like, I really hope that this whole thing is that all these measures that are being taken, like, okay, it does what it's supposed to do, which is stop the spread. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Like, it, mm-hmm. the shit just moves the fuck on. Like, because if it does not, then I'm gonna be sitting here like Miss Juicy, what the hell we gonna do now? <laughs> Not Miss Juicy. Seriously, like I'm gonna be sitting there like, what? What? What are we gonna do? Yeah. Because now, because in this mode, when 
we're just doing preventative stuff at this point because they're really yeah. again still we don't have at least here in this area yeah we don't have like some extreme shit like people are dying people are going to mm-hmm. the hospital every day we don't have that we're just trying to prevent that from getting to that mm-hmm. point but if we did have that and this shit already is already in turmoil mm-hmm. what the fuck are we gonna do if it, if right. it goes south for right. real so that's that's the only thing that I would say is, is worrying me at this yeah. point. Like, because eventually it's going to affect everybody mm-hmm. in some way, shape, or form. Even if you don't think that it is, it, it is. It's it going to affect you. So. And clearly, if you have a 401k, it's already affecting you. I really need to check my when I get home because I did not know that. I haven't yeah. looked at that shit. Yeah. I have not Mine looked. has been going down since last week. And I uh, text Tony, and he was like, Wait, how do you know? I said, Go check it. I was about to, and honestly, I was this close to taking all that shit out anyway. Because I'm like, at this point, I'm not gonna, be, I'm not had, gonna retire at 65. And I anyway. had thought about it, and then I was like, no, because it, it's been it, so. it's been like growing. So I was like, I'm gonna leave it alone. It's doing what it needs to do. And now I'm, I'm like, I lost but almost 16. You will. I mean, it, it will after the fact. After the fact, after everything has calmed down, <laughs> like I mean, well, that's the thing. That's the thing where it, it it sucks because Trump is trying to downplay it, and every time he's downplaying, and the markets know investors know he's lying because they hear what the CDC, HWO, and NIH is saying, and he's saying the total opposite, just trying to keep it clean, and then they just start to tank. So that affects our four hundred one ks when Wall Street and investors, you know, it's just all that, right? Once they are able to know that everything is on the up and up and everything is good and the situation is contained and taken care of in the United States, that's when you'll start to see invest investments go up and, and starting to go back into the market and then that'll rise back up. So right now, we can kind of maybe hope <laughs> for another couple of months, but right now it's not going to happen overnight. I it's really not going to happen this month. Like I said, I want, if this is what we're doing with all these... I don't even want to say rash measures with all these precautionary things, cautionary things going on. I really just need it to work and that shit to be moved on, like just mm-hmm. like the end of hurricane season. Just yeah, move on yeah. and be done by if I could put if I had put a time on it by May. <laughs> Listen, by May. And, and, and <laughs> let it be and hit its peak and it's gone and it's done. To, like just <laughs> needs to get on board and stop making it a political thing. Because it's a people thing I don't at think this it's, point. It's never going to not be a political thing. That's And again, that's what I'm saying. This is, both, this is to, we already knew all the problems going, that were, you know, mm-hmm. deficient. Now I think this has really exposed all those up. people yeah. that have been just blindly making these decisions or not giving a fuck to like, mm-hmm. oh, Or the ones that shit. don't know what the fuck they're doing in right. the first place and should never be there. Like, oh, shit. We really, <laughs> we really fucked up here. Yeah. yeah. This is exposing all that. And so now it's like, yeah. Because I think a lot yeah. a lot will happen throughout corporate, government, whatever. A lot's going to happen once this is all stabilized. You're going to start seeing and hearing a lot of restructuring on how people gonna be a lot. handle, like leaders handle. Yeah. I was going to start working out. Maybe I should. You know, I got to be able to run. <laughs> yes, yeah, so get, get your wind up. If you ain't got it, get the wind up. But I'm telling you... <laughs> When but it you comes know to like my life, I was about to say I when it comes to survival, everything I will like bugs. Oh my gosh, <laughs> y'all got like I'm super human when it comes to bugs. I swear <laughs> to God. At one time we was um Aaron and I was taking a nap and I was like dead to the world, like mm-hmm. knocked the fuck out. And he like got up to like I guess he saw something, got up or felt something, got up and. I don't know. So I was like, get the fuck up too. Because he didn't even get up. He didn't even get out of bed. Like he just kind of sat up and it wasn't even in a broke way. It's just yeah. like something was just like, get up. I got up and I was in the corner on the other side of the room. He was like, when the fuck you get up? And, I was just like, and then you just see this goddamn big ass cockroach like swimming through our pillows. Oh my God. I was just like, get it? <laughs> oh my God. Get it. See, <laughs> He's like, like, I didn't even see it. He said, I felt something. And that's why I woke up, but you, you like, you were asleep. <laughs> now you over there in the corner. What the fuck? <laughs> like, See, no. no. No, 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 no. I don't play that. Mm-mm. Don't play that. Do me. No. Mm-mm. No, no, no. 
Living in that house, and that's when I realized, like, you don't got to be dirty for, like, bugs to enter your house. Oh, like, no. they just, they be, like, looking and like, still, oh, I feel bet. so disgusting when there's a bug in my home. I, I do. Like, like do you feel exactly. disgusting? Yes. But are you disgusting? That's no. the question. Because people right. make you feel like if you get roaches, that means you're filthy. But it's like, mm -hmm. no, there was just construction next door, displaced them. Now they're over here. Or no, it was, it was, there's other reasons. Yeah, there there, it's cold this outside. There's a little crack here. Whenever it they rains, like to get I through that crack. Them. Like the yeah. little bugs be trying to come and throw my See, no. <laughs> and my first time seeing the ones here. <laughs> water when bugs, I lived in the water bugs. when I lived in Pineville, people were talking about. I remember him specifically talking about. Oh no, that's a water. That ain't no fucking it's water, bro. It's a roach. It's a roach. I hate it's an oversized I say roach. That, I say that too. I'd be like, yeah, no, oh, it's there a was water a bug. roach. And people be like, there, water bugs? And there was like, roach. no, 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 it's no. A roach. And I'm like, no, fuck that. That it's is an oversized now, does roach. It, does like, it look like a roach? roach? Yes. Does it move like a roach? Yes. Does it also mm. fly like a roach? It and does. that was the thing too. I was like, I went to kill that. But roach, it's a water bug. And it flew. I said, did this just fly? I put a Bitch, hole. I killed one in my house one day. I put a hole in my mom's wall because I was trying to kill it with a broom. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no. I listen. It was there was one like I was on the ceiling and I hit it and bitch, it flew. I said. Ah! Seriously no, though, like no. those skinny ones with all life. the legs and they're hairy and they got oh, all the, the legs. Oh my fucking oh, I god, those. I hate those. And they just be popping up out like, randomly. That's what they're called. No, yeah. Those. They just, no, no, no. Those, those are, are different. different. Yeah, those are different. Oh. But either way, <laughs> but, but those are annoying. I hate too. those. They just all look so nasty and so squirmy. But they die so quick. And like you spray you them, with, drown them. You could just I and they just them. die. I don't care. I don't want it like that joint because I was like minding my business, folding clothes. I wanted to go pick up the laundry bag. Yeah. It's under the laundry bag, chilling. See and I'm like, it didn't move. So I'm like, I don't know if it's dead or not, but I'm about to go get the vacuum. <laughs> my vacuum like sucked the area right next to it, not it. And so it we started off. running. <laughs> I was like, ah! ah! Yeah. And like a Mars on the bed screaming. <laughs> she don't know why I'm screaming. She's just screaming with me. And I sucked that joint down. And then I was like, I'm going to just keep vacuuming because yeah. now I'm scared if I, I don't turn know, the vacuum. Them, uh, I, I know at home we call them thousand legs. Yeah. Too. Okay. But, I just don't call those, them that I don't because like, I don't, there's like, the there's the hard ones, the centipedes, the hard ones. Oh, the, the big well, yeah. The, the yeah, with the, the legs the yeah, and the, yeah. Yeah. And so, like, I just want to be specific. It's the ones that are like they look hairy. Yeah. They, they look like because all the vicious caterpillars. Yeah. yeah. Like I just those, I don't I don't like and they piss me off because I swear I they move swear so damn fast. yeah I swear to God like <laughs> it would not I would look over here because the house I lived in 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 Atlanta had them like yeah everywhere they were everywhere and I would I would just be chilling in my little room. And I'll look <laughs> at the wall and it's not there. And that's where I'll blink and I'll look back and it's in the middle. And I'm like, how the fuck you get to the middle of the goddamn wall? You wasn't there on the right side or the left Yo. side before I blinked. And now all I did was close my eyes for a point two up, of a second. And you <laughs> right there in the middle of the fucking wall. <laughs> Bro, I hated living there. Oh my gosh. Because like stress. I just kept thinking like Man. when I'm asleep, they're probably crawling all over me. That's okay. all I kept thinking. And I'd be feeling like I got shit in my ear. Like, oh, that's the worst feeling. Because they, oh, oh, oh. I know. I know. I, I watched yeah, this I girl say, get her ears cleaned out. And, they, <laughs> and he said, like, at least 10 people, 10 of his clients, like, every 10 clients got, like, a roach or some, some shit about 10. Every know. 10 or 10 people, something, something, they be having roaches in their ear. And, like, they be in their oh, ear and they clean them out. Yeah. I, I was be, just going to say they, they, they're nocturnal. Uh -oh. Mostly, I'm about to say them. Oh no, I'm about to say no. But they, they made me want to get my ears cleaned out because, like, when they say how many like bugs we eat, yeah. like they crawl in our mouths mm -hmm. when we sleep. Yeah, yeah, that's this crazy to think about. I know <laughs> that's gross. I know. Imagine yeah. how I felt with those thoughts in my head, living <laughs> and living pretty in much an infestation. Yeah. I, I we we lived in a place like that when I was, I think, twelve, twelve, thirteen, and it was like every multiple times a day you was killing them and my mom was like yo we gotta go because this ain't it i'm like bruh and i mean they would just come and some of them are fat like not the millipedes mm -hmm. but some of them are just fat mm -hmm. hey, bugs. and some I of them are bugs. long as hell to yeah. the point that they curl and you and they move so fast mm -hmm. and you'd be like that's why i said it'd be like war because you'd be like Bitch, get back <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like i will not lose Freaking you because out. then it's like i don't know what you crawling up in or crawling up on i gotta you, i gotta know you dead before no I go to sleep. see the one i had sprayed it and it crawled and it went somewhere and i, I said 
to my mom. I was like, yeah, yeah, one of them things in your room. But I sprayed it. She said, okay, guys. I said, I don't know where it went, though. <laughs> <laughs> but it's dead somewhere. <laughs> I said, you might want to vacuum that area over there. <laughs> my mom was so bad. She used to... Uh, throw bleach on them. I'm like, you can't just willy nilly throw yes, bleach. Yes, you can. No. I'm like, you yes, can't just sister, be throwing bleach. Die. My sister, whenever there was a bug in the house, she would spray it with Lysol. I'm just like, you're just making it smell nice. Uh, smell I tried nice. to get the bug spray, and I will drown it in bug spray. I will drown yeah. whatever it is in bug spray, and I need the one that like I'm back here and I can up, shoot yep. over there. Like with precision, because <laughs> I am not getting that close. And if I have to get that close. I am damn sure drowning this motherfucker. Yeah. I ah, scream the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that's my sister. I'm like, Oof. yeah. Yeah, I hate, I hate it. And like, honestly, that's consistent sex. Not having to do a few stuff because he handled it and bugs. Those are the things I miss about having a nigga. Cause <laughs> I do not like killing bugs. I don't want to kill bugs. I don't like. He used to. He used to kill them and make me dispose of them. Like, bro, I much rather help you dispose of a body than dispose oh, of these goddamn bugs. Hey, come on, it Whoa. can't move no more. And that's what he said. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't sure. like bugs because I have this thing about like touch like i just i don't want to touch it i don't like and if i touch it i'm wasting toilet paper you talking about what people need toilet paper for killing bugs because i need six wads of toilet nah. paper wrapped around my hand because i don't want to fill the bug when i go to See, pick it you up you get cussed out of my house you ain't using my damn toilet paper to kill no damn bug you better go grab a shoe no not to kill like it to just to pick stuff. it up and flush pick it. it up Man, you better get that dustpan. Oh my god. We well, we can just like rip off the part that I what? didn't touch it with. And then, like, I can put it. Back. That's no. called reusing and reducing. No, recycle, man. Recycle. recycle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully that we don't have a giant bug infestation after all this bullshit. Because I'm not gonna sit in my house. Oh wait, that to do wellness. You do. Okay, we already talked about it, guys. Coronavirus, any virus, day to day. I hope this picks up. I want this to pick up in the goddamn <laughs> no, audio. Just... <laughs> day to day, I need y'all to wash everything. Wash your hands. Wash your butt crack. Wash under yes. your nails. Yes. Don't, when you get to work, nails. wipe down your area. Wipe down your desk. If other people work in your space, if you know your workspace is not safe, even if you think it's safe, Wipe it down. Yeah. Spray it. Go to the your office. Got shit. Ask somebody. Ask the janitors. Ask them. Be like, yo, can I have this? Cause I need to what? Wipe it down. Wipe it down. Just just wipe it down. Wipe everything down. Wash your hands. If you're taking flights, you need to wipe that shit down. Don't let people think you crazy and all that other shit. Be respectful, of course. Don't hold up the whole fucking line because you got to make sure like every area around you and your circumference is clean. No, just like sit in your fucking little seat and then wipe it down. Just wipe the shit down. Wash your hands. Cover your fucking mouths when y'all cough and sneeze. Please, please, please. Please. Yeah, and then else. what do you do? Wash your hands. Hand sanitizer is not washing your hands replacement. That is only because you couldn't wash your hands. It is what say. It. So Cayman Kelly, <laughs> damn you, Cayman, <laughs> called out. Stop using Tito's for sanitizer because Tito's. Oh, alcohol. It needs to be sixty percent alcohol or more, and Tito's is only forty percent. Oh, yeah, alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> yes, say, does kill stuff, but as you just heard from my co-host, sixty percent or better. It got to be Everclear. Thank you. All of a sudden, one, not one hundred percent alcohol anymore. Ninety percent. Really? It's like sixty or something now. Oh well, yeah. find one five one. No, oh, but. If you but it still alcohol. says like 100 proof, so I'm, I'm confused. But I don't know. Anyway, either way, the point is use soap and water and then dry your soap hands. And water. Then if you have an in-between time where you're like, oh, my hands need to be washed, but I can't. That's when sanitizer comes in. Yes. Don't touch other people's faces. Don't touch other people's food. Don't put your hands in your mouth and then start touching stuff. And then like, just be courteous of those around you. Be courteous of yourself. And you would think these are common sense things. Yeah, this is stuff but. that you should do despite the coronavirus. Right. You should do this on a day-to-day. -day. 
you as a, as a health food professional, if you're working in the restaurant, the little sign in the bathroom that tells you to wash your hands should not be the only reason why you wash your hands. You should be washing your hands. Guys, just because you can stick your dick out your pee hole doesn't mean that you didn't touch your dick and that you shouldn't wash your hands. Wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Just because you peed and you're at home. That doesn't mean no, don't wash your hands. Wash, wash your yeah. hands. Please just wash your hands. That's that that's literally all the shit says. It's like, okay, those masks, all that other stuff, you y'all being extra, y'all doing that shit too is much. Nothing. Just wash nothing. your hands. Take better care of yourselves. Have general fucking hygiene and concern about the people around you. If you know that you're sick, like seriously sick, stay the fuck home. If your job's like, fuck you, bitch, you have to come in. Tell your job, I got the Rona. I can't. I got to stay the fuck home. I am self-quarantining myself and I will sue you mm-hmm. if you want me to put myself and other people in danger because you think I can't handle this email from the safety of my fucking home. Like, the fuck? So, yeah, everybody, wash your hands. Be real with yourself. Stay the fuck home. Don't, if your kids are sick, don't send your fucking kid <laughs> to goddamn school, okay? Well, Okay, because I'm tired of it. <laughs> Motherfuckers got the plague going around, motherfucking <laughs> fucking scarlet fever and shit, bringing back old fucking diseases and shit. Because you didn't want to, because you wanted your yoga time and you ain't want to motherfucking let Stacy stay at home. There's a basic protocol to just basic hygiene and you can follow it. It's very easy. You go to the bathroom, you turn on this thing, it's called a faucet. Water comes out. Mm-hmm. You take bar soap. Or hand soap, like squirting soap, and you put it in your hand. And you can sing, count for a 20 second, you know, just 20 second intervals. And you wash and you scrub and you get in between your fingers, your nails, you do all that. And then you rinse. And then, you know, so you might want to go back in for a double pump, you know, just, just to make sure. So now we have 40 seconds. But in less than a minute, you did your job against the coronavirus by what? Washing your fucking hands. hands. That's all you got to do, dude. Wash wash your fucking hands. So that's my wellness tip. Be a decent human being and fucking clean. You know? Your body. That's that on that. That's that on that. I said what the fuck I said. I know that's not what Nene said. She didn't say what the fuck, but I'm adding that. (laughs) We added it. (laughs) But anyway. Well. Be safe out here, guys. Please. And again, wash your, your body, fucking hands. Your hands. In Cover your, your mouth. Use common sense and use precautions. You know, don't, 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 and don't, and I will say. Oh, by the way, oh, do y'all know ahead. that when y'all fucking next to people, you're spitting on them at all times? So, like, stay a couple yeah. of feet back. Get, the, get that six feet, but give me six and a half. Just so, like, you being in everybody's face, ha ha, he he, and talking about some elbow pump, you still, you still exchanging spit. All right, just don't Sixty. touch people. Just stay the fuck away from me. Just don't touch you me. Can simply just tap your heart. Yeah. Salute. I see you. You What's, see me. Head nod. Nod. Each other. Head smile. nod and smile. <laughs> like, see, I always been. I've forms of always been anti touching. And look, it all works out. Look at y'all now. Not one to touch, motherfuckers. Join the crew. Don't <laughs> hug me. Don't do it. Only mm-hmm. person I want hug and love from is my family. And that's because if something happens, I at least want them to know that I was willing to love them to them. Um, continue to. Be safe out here. Protect yourselves. Wash your um, hands. Wash your hands. Wash your butt. And all that good stuff. Don't touch anything, especially after you touched your butt. Backpack um, six feet. There you go. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Um, stay safe. Just think. In the next, like, you know, 10, 15 years, we'll be able to sit back and be like, I survived Rona. Maybe. Well, hopefully. 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 Yes. Hopefully this won't last for more than a couple months. But that's, let's hope. Anyway. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.